watching Bama football on YouTube. This is the freshman report. After five days of practice, and look, I'm not going to mention all of the freshmen um, that have uh, in the class of 2024. Um, there's a lot of moving parts, but from what I gather, what I talked to, like here's some information on the freshmen that is worth talking about. I'll make it full screen so you guys can check that out. It is sorted alphabetically. Um, I'm very like A type, so I put things always in lists. Um, so let's let's kind of start at the top and let's talk about Bubba Hampton. You know, Bubba Hampton is is probably another player that we don't really talk enough about, but he's a wide receiver that came here as an athlete. And Coach Saban, uh, before he left, said, you know, Bubba Hampton's got some dog in him. And man, he, to think about, he came here and he added on 19 pounds, right? Early enrollee, added on 19 pounds, now at 194 pounds. He's number 21 out there. He's making plays. He's he's good, man. Like, don't forget about him. And I think when Kobe Prentice moves on, he can play that H position. Uh, H position, like, you know, Cole, uh, Cole Adams, also like a kind of a shifty guy, a wide receiver that can make plays across. I didn't know he added 19 pounds. That is really impressive and a credit to him in terms of how good do you want to be? Where do you have to get to play at this level? Um, and certainly getting close to 200 pounds. Man, he, I can't even imagine with his versatility and his speed at uh, 195 pounds. It's super impressive. Caleb Odom, he's working with the threes right now. What stands out to me is just his overall size. Um, I mean, truth be told, I like to see a little bit more explosion when I watch him in the practice highlights. And again, I don't see him practicing. I don't see his entire practicing, but, you know, get off the line, you know, have that explosion. 6'5", 227 pounds. Um, in some of the highlights, he's made some one-handed grabs. He has it. Like, please do not forget about Caleb Odom. In game situation last year, during his final year of high school, my goodness, I mean, the guy was a nightmare. I was so happy when he moved from tight end to wide receiver, because I think Alabama has been lacking a big, tall wide receiver for many years that you can get the football to. And I think Caleb Odom will be that guy. I don't know if it'll be this year, but when his name is called, I think he'll be ready for it. Casey Poe, um, outside of Keon Keeley, who I think made the biggest gain with 35 added pounds, Casey Poe, who look, there's people who thought Casey Poe would make a, like could push for a starting spot this year. Far fetched. Um, Maybe, maybe with the twos, he put on 32 pounds. Like, 32 pounds. Keon Keeley put on 35. These guys, that's the beautiful thing about the University of Alabama, is they are going to get you, from a dietary standpoint, like where you need to be, right? Um, Steven, what's up? I see you inside the comment box. Thank you so much for being here, running through my freshman report um, after five practices. Drake Kirkpatrick, another guy, you know, a legacy player. Um, you want to feel, feel old? Like, yeah, he's going into his freshman season at the University of Alabama. Put on 18 pounds, now 210 pounds. He made some plays during, during the spring game. People were sleeping on him. Have him as a three-star. Henry Hubbard, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. Appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. It goes a long way. Um, hey, look, it, the guys in the secondary, more experienced that are going to play, um, but Jake Kirkpatrick, as he continues to develop, pretty impressive that um, he's already at 210 pounds and a completely different uh, body type than his dad. I think he's kind of a guy that reminds me of almost a DeMarco Hellams, right? He can come up and hit you, um, but he has some playmaking ability too. I mean, I kind of rewind to the all-star game between Mississippi and Alabama where he had two interceptions. He had an interception in the spring game. Um, so, yeah. Jake Kirkpatrick, man, coming with it. Jalen Mbakwe, okay, second team corner right now, but now with the first team as Zabian Brown has that minor injury in the cast. Jalen Mbakwe, man, like he has it. These freshmen, for all the secondary players that left Alabama, man, like Jalen Mbakwe, Zay Mincy, Drake Kirkpatrick, Bubba Hampton, Zay Mincy, like, man, these guys came in. Um, uh, Red, Red Morgan. I don't have him on. Oh, yeah, I have him on this uh, graphic. These guys came in. Let me ask you this, Undefeated, real quick. We got 200 on. I appreciate it. If you could get 200 thumbs up, that would be the goal. Um, out of these freshmen just right here, which freshman has kind of made your ears perk up? You know, when you're reading your sides, when you're watching your footage out there, you know, which freshman has seemed to kind of jump off? Outside of Ryan Williams. Okay, we're going to get to him. <laughs> but Jalen Abakwa, man, like, th this guy has it. State champ, right? Plays at a very high level. Really, really high ceiling. All right. Um, Kevin, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Jay Lindsay. Yesterday when I was looking at the tight end footage, CJ Dupree, man, he's athletic. And he was moving around really good. And and I if I think if I had to rank the tight ends right now, I'd go CJ Dupree, Robbie Oots, um, and then um 
you know, uh, David, I appreciate you, man. Thank you with the super chat. Um, yeah, I would have those as my two as my two top guys, right? Jay Lindsay is another guy that was brought in. He's 250 pounds. He put on 20 pounds. And he looks athletic as well, right? I, I think there's some tight ends who are going to get playing time before him. But he's going to be uh, that guy as well. Uh, and then um, Justin Okoronkwo. Look, type J. No, no, no. Type O if you've heard good things about Justin Okoronkwo already. I don't know when he's going to play. Guy is from Germany. Coach Saban said if he played more that he'd be a five-star. Okay, so David, David's heard good things. I have heard good things. Type in an O for Justin Okoronkwo. See, Byron? This is, Greg, Danny Lewis looks big out there, man. He's a big dude. Thank you for bringing his name to my attention. I probably have him third uh, behind Robbie Oots. Robbie Oots, 270 pounds. Okay, see, Byron saying O. So I got David, uh, Byron, and Byron saying zero, uh, uh, O for Justin Okoronkwo. Oh, <laughs> Justin Okoronkwo, man, he's he's a big dude, and I and I think uh, Garrett, I think you're hitting the O, yeah, the because the I is right next to the O. Maybe you're hitting the wrong letter. <laughs> um, all right, Noah Carter. Look, the this wolf position. Look at the guys ahead of Noah Carter right now. And by the way, I'll never forget Noah Carter's highlight tape. That guy was. Like playing on offense at wide receiver, returning kicks. So he's at that wolf position. So that's a guy um, that can get after the quarterback. Think of your uh, Dallas Turner, William Anderson of the past right now, ahead of him, Q Rob, uh, Keanu Coat, uh, Quay Russo. Those are the guys. But Noah Carter certainly in the fold as well. Um, he's put on 22 pounds, right? Um, Red Morgan, Coach Kane Womack yesterday had great things to say about him and was like, and I'll get to my callers in just a minute. Let me finish this freshman report and running through the list. Red Morgan, um, second team Husky, but a, a guy that can play now, right? Some guys can be second team or third team, but I think uh, Red Morgan, Xavier Brown, those are two guys that we didn't really talk too much about when they first came in. But Kane Womack said that he's absolutely – look, can you imagine? Look at all these freshmen. He, these freshmen are going to play, right? Freshmen don't play at Alabama. These guys are going to play. Ryan Williams uh, put on 10 pounds now at 100 set. I don't care how, how much he weighs. I really don't. And the reason I don't is because Devontae Smith, what was he, like 130 pounds when he played here? And he absolutely sliced up everybody. Ryan Williams bigger than Devontae Smith. Ryan Williams, man, running routes, catching passes. You, you saw that uh, picture by uh, the Tuscaloosa News where he was out there one-handing it. Someone put it side-by-side side by Devontae Smith. Expectations are super, super high for this guy to catch for, you know, 1,000 yards. What, what have Look. As of five practices, the guy is making plays. Will he play in the first game? Yeah, right? Will he catch passes? For sure. It's going to take time. So just go easy on these freshmen and, like, let them develop, right? I was watching that thing with Coach Saban yesterday in the Chicago Bears. You guys see that on social media? And he was talking about um, what Peyton Manning in his first season in the NFL threw, what was it, 28 interceptions, the most ever and he was like, you have to let the expect, if you think, if you go off expectations, you'll always fail, right? You have to work on the craft and it takes time. That's what these guys are doing right now, working on the craft. Jalen Waddle, 165 pounds. Jalen Waddle, just, man, I miss him. He, it was crazy just watching how good he was here. Crazy. Um... Rico Scott, number 11, making plays. You saw him make the one-handed catch. He's, so when you're out there watching your footage, he's number 11, Rico Scott doing his thing. Um, and then Davian Brown, starting corner. If Alabama had a game today, I know, I know he has that cast on. It doesn't sound like it's going to be a huge issue. I, I, I would imagine it's off in a couple weeks, if not sooner than that. And they Zay Mincy. It, I think out of all the, the corners, and this is just my opinion, okay, he might have the highest ceiling. I don't know if he, he he's probably behind uh, Mbakwe just by a little bit. And of course, by, behind Zabian Brown. But I think his overall ceiling is ultra high. I mean, he's he's one of the bigger corners. What, six foot three? Right? So um, that's kind of, the, that, that's a freshman port. And, and I wanted to talk about those freshmen because they've been putting in work. They've been grinding. And um, as freshman news comes in, I'll continue. I'll, I'll have another refreshment report probably in like, um, another week or so, but just wanted to update you. And, uh, I hope you like, uh, the video. So definitely hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe.